Okay, we're going to talk about drive centric. Now, my, my panel today are actual drive centric customers. You know, usually when you when you have a panel like this, it's one or two of the Bell Cow dealers, but I've got a pretty good cross section of people who actually use and operate the drive centric system. Starting with Brian King. Hi, Brian. Hi, guys. Where are you from? Uh, I am from Lewiston, Idaho, work for Rogers Motors, and uh, I run the CRM environment amongst other jobs. Fantastic. And Denny Eubank, where are you, Denny? I'm out here in Salem, Oregon. I'm our BDC internet manager along with CRM admin and wear other hats as well, but that's what's on my business card. Okay. Did you enter the waste baskets this morning? I did actually. Yeah. Okay, very yeah. good. What a check. Mm -hmm. Hello, Ashley. Hi, Jim. I'm Ashley Cavazos. I'm in Minneapolis, Minnesota, um, and I do all things digital for Walzer Automotive Group. Fantastic. I've been hearing a lot about Walzer. You, you guys, you guys have got it dialed in up there, as I'm, I'm hearing. Yeah, we're you know, drive centric has been a great tool for us. We were headed in that direction, and it's it's been a game changer. So I'm excited to be here. We're going to talk about that. Okay, Jim Bowman, how you doing, big guy? Good, good. My name is Jim Bowman. I'm a general manager of Kemp Chevrolet Cadillac and BMW of Spokane and Spokane, Washington. Been with Drive Centric for about almost three years right now. It's one of my favorite tools of all the tools that I have. Fantastic. One of your absolute favorite. That That's saying something. Okay. And we've got <laughs> Dusty Sutherland. Where are you, Dusty? I'm in uh, Wilmington, Ohio. I'm the uh, general sales manager of Wilmington Auto Center, and I'm also the head bathroom cleaner. Okay, yeah, you, 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 you and, you and uh, Denny can get together. <laughs> Maybe do a training session with each other. Amen. Yeah, nothing, nothing better than the clean bathroom. That's that's a good mark of customer service. And yeah, let's go south a little bit. Who have we got here? Carlo Castillo, Lexus of Pembroke Pines, number one Lexus store on the planet. Wait a minute, number one Lexus. What did you sell? 100 units last month. Yeah, yeah, it was a tough month. <laughs> where, where, what did you post last month, Carlos? Uh, we're just over 900 new and over a couple hundred pre owned. 900 new and how many pre owns? Just over 200. Oh my gosh. And you only sell in 25 units a month before you met Drive Centric? You know, right, right. We were closing the doors and then we launched Drive. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's how that went you know so i um, happy um uh, we're i want to say power users uh of the crm and uh we truly truly embrace it happy with it and last but certainly not least the chief hey. evangelist of the, of the company steve wrestler now his name is spelled different he's not a wrestler he's steve wrestler okay. that's right that's right. I'm happy to be here. Even though I'm a chief evangelist officer, I'm really all about networking with the right people. We got a great audience. So I'm excited to, you know, learn from them, see how they're continuing to improve and just continue to grow using Drive. You know what? I'm, what I'm hearing is so many people today are afraid to make the switch. They're using what I consider to be personal opinion, old outdated platforms that have three and four sub vendors that enhanced uh, what they didn't design into the platform originally. You know, I go into dealerships every day and I see managers with three or four different screens trying to do all these different functions, all these, and Drive Centric has combined so many of those. Well, let's get with, let's get with Brian King. Brian, what was the main reason, don't mention another vendor by name, but what was the main reason that you made the, the switch to, to drive? Well, I, I mean, I guess I'd start with, I don't think anyone like starts their day and, and says, geez, I want to go evaluate a bunch of CRMs and, and think about it. You usually come to it from a pain point. So uh, our experience was um, a, a lot of pain, right? Um, uh, we went with, uh, we'd had a vendor for a number of years. Um, we, uh, as they evolved their solution, um, it, it was like bolting on net new functionality. The interface changed, it would break some things, reporting, right? A lot of the overall functionality just uh, either completely changed or, 
or or broke in some fashion to where it forced us down the path to look at alternatives. And we were fortunate enough to uh, to, to vet uh, a handful of them and, and drive. Okay, so you didn't just you didn't just hire the first CRM that knocked on your door. No, 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 no. We had we had uh, I would call it extreme pain uh, across our dealerships to the point where uh, where we did a full evaluation of a of a number of tools out in the industry um, before making a selection. Fantastic. Let me let me switch off for a second. I, I got to talk to Denny Eubank here a second. Denny, where where did you say you were today? Out in Salem, Oregon. Salem, Oregon, away on the west coast. So tell tell me about the the technology. About how does it work? for you without customers having to filter through all these other non-contracted people? I mean, when you can you get right to the customer you're working with? Talk, talk to me. Yeah, exactly. Um, Drive allows you to not have your BDC reps, internet reps, however your store is set up, working with uncontacted people doing busy work. So we, we let the system work those and we step in to work live people. Keeps your employees engaged, keeps the customers engaged. You respond to people in a timely manner. It just makes the entire experience for the customer and your employee a ton better. So it keeps your people productive and engaged is what you're telling me. Exactly. I mean, exactly. They're, they're, they're not having downtime with people that haven't even been contacted previously. They, you know, every every minute they're, they're on the phone or every minute they're on the keyboard, they're productive. Exactly. They're always with a customer and not just doing tasks to do tasks. They're, they're doing stuff that's helping the dealership and helping themselves. Everybody in this panel, I think, will agree that uh, tasks tasks get in the way of productivity if it, when you're assigning people with tasks that have no meaning. Exactly. What do you think about that? Definitely. I mean, you want your people engaged and active with the customers who are live shopping now. And the great thing about Drive Centric is it, it provides that so easily with its visibility. Um, the alerts have been a, a game changer for us. A lot of times um, I've worked with multiple different CRMs um, and I haven't seen one that does it this easily where as soon as a customer response hits your CRM, every manager can see it and the person the message was sent to. So there's that urgency for them to respond to that customer right away. Um, it's it's just been incredible to see what it's done. And and you see everybody, there's this terminology and, and Steve, I, I love what y'all did with it, but we call it fumbles, right? You wanna, you wanna have some urgency in responding to your customers. They have a span of about 10 minutes that you wanna make sure you're responding to them, but anything more than an hour, you pretty much lose that customer if you take too long to do it. And we're so on top of our fumbles um, now that we've been on Drive Centric. Nobody is getting ignored or messages aren't going unanswered for more than a day. Um, it's it's crucial, especially when shoppers are, are shopping as aggressively as they are online. Well, see, I'm familiar with Walzer. You guys are the big dog in Minneapolis. You're, you're, you're the team to beat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we, we're very progressive, right? We're one point of contact. Um, our, and this is where we love Drive Centric. Our salespeople are doing it all. They are the BDC, they're the salesperson, they're the finance manager. It's, it's one person doing all of it. And when you have a team that is doing as much as they are, you need to make life easier for them. On top of it, the video tool, it's so, it's rather than having to use a different tool to send your video, because sometimes CRM video tools aren't, up to par, Drive Centric brings all of that quality in one tool. And you are you just stress you are one point of contact. You know, I was adamantly against that at one time. And now with digital retailing and some of the things I'm seeing in the market, I'm really swinging a little bit that direction, a lot more of that direction. So yeah, that, that's interesting that a one point of contact store, Drive Centric is working really well for you guys. Yeah, we love it. I mean, I, I'm with you when I, I'm a BDC person. That's how I came into this industry and trying to wrap my head around like, wait, we're going to have salespeople do what? Uh, yeah. But Drive Centric makes it so easy. Again, it's easy is, is going to be a, a hot word for me, but it's easy. We want things to be easy so they're engaged and uh, managers are in the CRM more than I've ever seen sales managers being a CRM before. Fantastic. Steve, tell us about fumbles. Steve, you're turning your mic. Yeah, I'm sorry, I had on mute. 
the, yeah, the chief technology people. officer forgot his technology. I know. Somebody help me out. <laughs> like, it, we went out there, and, and you go out there and look at what customers are doing today. They're, the digital showroom customer is a customer that we all have to acknowledge, and we have to do a better job on in taking care of those customers. They're just not all coming in the showroom anymore. It's a brave new world out there. So the customers that are talking to the store via email, via text, they're interested in buying a car. The problem is, is the visibility of what dealerships have with maybe their technology, what it's lacking is the ability to see those customers talking so they can reply faster. So what we come up with at Drive Centric is a term called fumble. So if a customer is not being replied to in an hour, we're showing that as a fumble. And so these are new reports we just came out with not too long ago. So we're trying to help improve our dealerships by understanding these new metrics of what customers are asking for and keep it front and center of our dealers. Nobody wants to be a fumble. Uh, tell me about fumbles, uh, Jim Bowman. Well, it, it helps us inside the dealership, like she mentioned earlier, that if someone's not getting communicated with for whatever reason, sales manager can pick up that lead, continue even in the salesman's name if they choose, to keep that ball moving and rolling through the process. Well, we got we got a lot of people from from the Pacific Northwest on the a couple of people from Pacific Northwest on the on the broadcast today. And we, we we understand fumbles. You know, you got the Seahawks that decided to pass on the last last play of the game. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Tell me about your experience, Dusty. Yeah, so um, we're a store that's very heavy with personal branding. And uh, one of the things that I always say is that analog you has to match digital you, which means the, the salesperson has to be present in their community. And one of the awesome things about Drive is the app makes me ever present in the community. So I can. So you got, you got the app, app in your handheld. That's the app in my hand. Tells me what's going on in real time from a management standpoint. If I need to take TOs, communication back and forth from, from the salesperson, if they need to get a, a number on a trade, if they need help with a deal, um, we're going towards a, a single point of contact as well because I have uh, one salesperson that sells uh, on his own about 60 cars a month, <clears throat> very highly efficient guy. And my first mission when I got there was try to find things that I could take out of his way to make his job easier and make him more money. And okay. him being president of the community. Just the things you could take out of his way. Yep. And this is one of the things, giving him a CRM that allows him to use it the way CRMs are meant to be used, plus uh, gives him the ability to be active as a community and still put people in, still communicate, and still have messaging. I mean, it's 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 a perfect version of making that analog you and digital you match. So when we say we're going to be attentive, we're going to be quick, uh, and we're going to make things easy without drive centric, we we can't make those two things match, and uh, we would look like liars saying we we wanted to make things match. So, okay, Carlo, you with me? Mute myself. Okay. How are you? <laughs> you, look, you look like, like a one-legged person in a butt kicking contest. How busy are you? <laughs> little bit, little bit, you know. We got the team going back here. Uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, I just wanted to go um, go back to Ashley's point with the fumbles. It has truly opened a lot of eyes for us. You know, we have a, um, you know, you don't you don't really see what an OEM measures until after the fact. What I mean by that is like you know the OEMs they measure like that first response, how fast you do it, and what kind of response. But now with this fumble rate, you get to see after that first response how we're doing and then how much we're dropping the ball versus text message versus email, which has been a powerful thing. We've reconstructed our whole like response process based on how we handle to make sure we handle the fumbles correctly. I got a deal where I'm talking to here. I'm talking to Carlo. You, you sold 1,100 like, highlights. Uh, what day works best for you? Yeah. Did you see that person? Yeah. Right That's accurate, sir. Yeah, I mean, my right. like, gosh. Uh, has, has, right, how much has Drive Centric contributed to, to that number? Well, contributed more giving us, going back to Steve, is like the visibility. Okay. You know, uh, the visibility to see how many of the percentage of the customers we don't follow up with because of the, um, the lack of engagement for us to focus on what's really 
um, happening with us in front of us, which is the engaged customers. And since we're engaging almost 80% of our customers, how much we want our team to focus on that 20% and how much time we want to give that 20% and then give that 80% of the people that we are engaging with our main focus. So getting down getting down to the nitty gritty has been uh, huge for us. Now I want to open this thing up. Everybody jump in anytime you want to jump in with any part of the conversation. Okay. Jump, jump in and I will, I will put you on the main screen. It's going to go fast. It's like a lightning round. Okay, the first question I want to ask the very first question I want to ask is, um, let me, uh, video. How is the video integration in, in Drive Centric helped your dealership? I'll be happy to answer it's that. Oh, please go ahead. Uh, what I do is I, I sell roughly 300 used cars a month out of Spokane, Washington, and I deliver all over the West. The one thing that it helps me do is I can show a video a customer over in Montana on an F-350 and they'll know exactly what they're getting from tire condition to interior, exterior. And right before I deliver that car, that video allows me to let them know exactly what they're getting, pointing out any imperfections, so I don't have to spend the money to return the vehicle back well, to Jim, it. let me ask you a question about that. What point are you doing it? Are they still on your website? Where are these people when you do that? Yep. The customer or the salesperson, the salesperson, I do a walk around video as soon as the lead comes in. I let them know that they introduce themselves. We're going to do a quick video on this vehicle and show you everything about it. And I get a high engagement rate of that because I'm not just sending a canned email, a text or any of those kind of things. I try to get engaged with a customer right from the very beginning. No different than the old way of selling. The more effort, the more professionalism you put in from the very beginning. Wait, wait, wait one second. Where does that video show up? shows up on the customer's phone or shows up in their inbox their email and you can the nice part about it as a salesman which i don't think any other uh, crm allows you to do is they can shoot the video right from their telephone they can shoot the video from their cell phone and they don't have a fourth party app i, I know this already where a lot of, a lot of the major crms that weren't built for video have had to hire a fourth party to come in and install video over their platform which that's right. another band-aid for a platform that wasn't designed to do that. And you mentioned and, earlier about you different aspects. You? you mentioned different aspects, different vendors pick up. You've got reputation, you've got AI, you've got a lot of different features built into this that normally you'd have to pay outside of it to get. Okay, so in other words, the features are built in that you have to pay an upgrade on other CRMs to, to acquire. That's correct. And you know, you know what's interesting is a lot of CRMs will come in pretty inexpensive, but when you start stacking that stuff, you look at drive centric, really for the money you're spent, you're probably a little bit below what you traditionally spend with all using all these other outside vendors. Now, Ashley. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm not picking on you right now because you're a point of one, one point, you know, one salesperson does everything. How are your salespeople using the video that is built in as part of the system? with Drive Centric. Jim, across 16 dealerships in Minnesota, we sent almost 26,000 videos last month alone. Well, <laughs> so I you, mean, ever the, you ever see the movie Home Alone? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we believe, I mean, I've been using video for over five years. It's been probably six years as a VDC. I would get a phone up and um, I had a different video tool, right? And I would send video to customers. We were in, implementing it in service. And um, coming to Walzer, it's been almost two years with the team at Walzer. We, we 26, started- 26,000 videos. 20, you know, you look at last month, 20 Get out of here. <laughs> so we believe 150%, 150% video to all leads. Like we want video to be the way you communicate with customers. And our salespeople love it. I mean, how hard is it and not hard, but you have some people, maybe they're not the best at typing up an email. They're, you know, a little self-conscious about their grammar, their typos, and they've realized with Drive Centric how easy it is to reply to a customer with a video and answer their question. And you see the responses every day, all day. Thank you so much for the video. The video is what brought me in. And it's not only our salespeople, Jim, our managers are sending video. They're doing manager introductions before appointments come in. So then when that customer walks in the door, the manager and the salesperson are greeting the customer. 
one point of contact, you have to build trust right away because you're also their finance manager. You want to build that trust so when you're talking product, the customer has that relationship with you and you understand what they're looking to achieve. So breaking down that wall before the customer gets here is huge and video is helping it's us amazing. do that. We I got, I got a video. I got a little stat on video here for you, Jim. So for us, um, I did a measurement for the year of 2020 for us. And every time we have a scheduled appointment, if we send a video prior to that customer showing up, one, we had an 87% show rate. Um, and two, on that customer, they've already committed to the car. They're already impulsed into it. And we saw those average about $900 for a company. Did you just say that they impulsed into it? I love it. Yeah, they, they impulsed right through the video. They didn't even have to see the car. So they come in, they negotiate less, they show up more. And like I said, we averaged about $900 more a copy if a video was sent after a confirmed appointment. And the, the, the CRM you had previously, was video built into the system? No, and we, we, were, a, we were a dealership that was don't knock it till you tried it. So we tried them all. <laughs> and so we can knock them all. And we got to drive and drive allowed us to work the way we like to work with our culture here. Everybody on this screen does it a little bit different than we, than we do. But I think that's the benefit of drive is it has the flexibility to let every dealership customize it the way they want to do it to be successful. Fantastic. I'm gonna go to Carlo for a second. Hey, Carlos. how are you? Hey, Carlos, so, 1100 units. I'm curious. I, I've done a lot of business in South Florida. I have cool. a ton of business in South Florida. you got a multicultural, multi, multilingual community. How's the video working out for you? So we send, uh, last month, we did about 6,000 videos. So um, most of them, uh, most of them are real videos we do use a, a portion of canned videos that's one of the things i love about drive centric when i say canned videos um just because you get a new car lead and it's on a, a generic lead source you may not want to send the salesman every single time to uh to send uh to do a walk around on that car so if it's the same generic is 300 lead they have a video of themselves already doing the walk around so they and still see the individual salesperson Right. They can. There's two ways, you know, right. Because you can flip the camera during the video, which is pretty awesome. That said, you know, well, they, they send out the video, they create the engagement. And until the customer says, Hey, I must, I must have it in black and black interior instead of the white red you just sent me. Then we go into more of a custom approach. Fantastic. My, my protege and friend, Elise Kephart does a lot of custom video very much like that. You know, it's amazing. I, I, and I'll get Steve back in a second. I pioneered video in 2004, 2005 on the stage at Digital Dealer back when it was a flip camera and a laptop. And nobody had seen video at that point in the auto industry, although other industries were, were using it as a sales tool. And I was amazed that none of the major vendors incorporated video in into their platforms steve talk a little bit about the vid video in the platform when we built the crm that was one of the key features you know many years ago that we knew was you know a high trend you know and i knew at least get part was going out there for most video um but Video is that digital handshake. And if we make it easy for the salespeople to do it, and it's fully built into the tool where it's just like shooting a video on your smartphone, you're just in the app. It's that easy. You even have the functionalities of, you know, doing the fun things at your store, like using filters, branding your store. We wanted to make it as user friendly as possible. So the user has the same experience as what they're using on social media, Snapchat, or just their cell phone. So uh, really it's about building a culture. And a lot of these folks that are on this call, uh, you know, they may not have been huge in video, but it just takes time to build the culture of the video. And that really comes from the leadership team you're seeing here. Steve, what is one of the major advantages of drive centric that we haven't discussed so far? 
Well, my gosh, it's so simple to use. I mean, what everybody is saying, it's everything is all in one. I think as long as everybody goes out there and they're using the tool, you don't have to get all these bolt-ons. I think that's some of the things that get lost in the shuffle when people are talking about CRMs is what tools can, and I, I can't remember if Brian said it or, or if Ashley said it, but I don't have to get all these tools anymore and integrate. We took the approach of building. And when you build something from the ground floor up, the tools work seamlessly together. It's not hard. It looks like Facebook. It feels like Google. It feels like Messenger. And if you build something that's tool, I think, Jim, you know, everybody says it. The best CRM is the one that's used. So our goal was let's build something simple and let's help our dealership sell more cars by focusing on engagement because we know the customers are buying faster than ever. So we just got to give them the right tools in place to communicate, engage properly, and make sure it's all visible to them. Well, we haven't really hit on the genius either. We ha we've been talking about video so much, but the AI genius feature is another huge just Whoa. feature with which I'm centric. We're head headed there. We're only halfway through the broadcast. We're <laughs> we are. <laughs> uh, Steve, I've got a question for Steve a second. Steve, what is more accurate than the atomic clock in Greenwich? In Greenwich? <laughs> what? Some of the other major CRMs crashing at the end of every month. <laughs> <laughs> you can oh, set boy, your man. watch by some of these CRMs crash every month. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we're getting toward the end of the month. You know, pe people start getting nervous. It, it, you know, is, is my DMS, my CRM going to crash? And then we got all these bolt-ons and the bolt-on crashes. It's terrible. Okay, now, now, Ashley, now let's talk about Genius. Yeah, so Genius, the AI, I mean, there are a lot of great AI tools out there, but Drive has it completely integrated in the CRM. Again, you don't have to have multiple dashboards up. And what it's taught a lot of our salespeople, we talk about follow-up, completing your, um, you know, following up with your customers, your work plans, um, whatever it is that you're doing for your task or your follow-up schedule with your customers. But what's great about the AI is she can do all of that for you. And she teaches the salespeople that follow-up works. You don't just like hit it and quit it, right? Respond once and then move on. They're seeing that as she completes continues to engage with these customers, she will eventually get that response that we need to help continuing on with the transaction or, or assisting them. Okay. Yeah, so and, 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 and I would add to it. Intelligence, AI. Now, now, to me, AI, a lot of people claim to have it, but do they really have it or is it is it really just machine learning? Right. <laughs> Yeah, so I just wanted to put in my two cents. I've been on the CRM for a few years now, and I've seen the AI evolve from like just simple answers to like personality, emojis, asking for appointments, throwing the appointments in. My agents are like, am I competing with this AI? <laughs> you know, and uh, that's one of the powerful things that I, I continuously see the involvement in the, the CRM and the AI. That's so one of the things I love. It is a true AI and not, not, not just simple machine learning, you know? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Especially when you see like the lead come in at like three o'clock in the morning and then the kind of language. No, man, it's uh, it's pretty powerful. And uh, we named ours Britney Spears. <laughs> oh, did you really? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So to make the long story short, yeah. So uh, to make the long story short, it's uh, it's it's hilarious. Some people buy it. Some people don't buy in. But uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's something that they engage with and have fun with. It's sort of like that little guy every day at two o'clock. The little guy from India calls me up, concerned about my car's warranty. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> every day. <laughs> okay. Talk to me about the AI, Denny. All right, I'll, I'm going to jump back a quick second to being easy, what Steve was saying. So one point I think everybody should know about the CRM being easy is with uh, previous CRMs, it would take me two weeks to get someone trained and fully proficient. With DriveCentric, it takes me three days. It, it's so much easier. So it saves everybody. Wait, 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 wait. wait. They, learned, they, they learned 
functionality and they can use it and produce with it and do things with it three days. Yeah, and these are my BDC reps. I mean, not even my salespeople are quicker because they don't need to know as much. But my BDC reps, it takes them three days to get them fully functioning and drive. So I think that's a big, big uh, money saver for everybody to get someone working right away instead of training. Well, you know, the, the thing that, that impresses me most about drive centric, and I am impressed, and people that know me know that there's not enough money for me to be impressed with something I'm not impressed with. You can't buy the dog, <laughs> you know, so I'm truly, I'm truly, I'd be a wealthy man if I was a crook. But anyway, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm seeing right now that everybody that sees it is impressed with it. I go into dealerships and I see three, four five screens. All the managers have their heads down and all these screens. And it takes time to switch from this screen to that screen to do this, to do that. And so much of this was designed originally into the drive centric uh, programs. In other words, you could probably fire some of your current vendors, <laughs> you, you know, and functionalities that are built in standard in this process and speed up your, your deals and, and speed up your efficiency and your productivity. Uh -huh. am, I, am I telling the truth, Jim, or am I making that up? No, no, it's actually very true. I was thinking about back to the AI, probably two or three times a week. Our AI agent name is Mindy, which is my wife's name. And I get good positive reviews. Oh, Mindy did a great job. Mindy was excellent. They don't even realize that it's an AI agent at all. No, so no, that would be something you'd pay for. The reputation tool, they they, uh, they question. <laughs> wait a minute, why. wait a minute. Your your AI agent, Candy, is getting, getting CSI reports uh, yes. graded? Yes, she did a great job, which is easy to work with, that kind of stuff. I have no idea that's even an AI agent at all. That is, is tremendous. Is that your experience, Dusty? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Ours name is uh, Alice Parker after Peter Parker and Alice Cooper, uh, our favorite. So, <laughs> and, and so yeah, we actually have, and I'm sure everybody's had this, that, that have a named AI, that they'll have customers that come in and say, you know, I was speaking to Alice, is Alice here? No, she's off, you know, or whatever. But it's um, one of the coolest things. And, and like I said, we're a small store and, and my salespeople are out in the public. They're out in their community uh, doing community uh, selling and, and, and reach out and stuff. And when messages come in that they miss and it goes, I'm going to go back to this app because this the cell phone app and, and what this does. And I'm, I, I'm hoping I'm hoping Steve or I get to talk about live rooms in a minute because I'm a big proponent of that. We're going to talk about live rooms. For oh, sure. beautiful. Because she will come in and, and give us an update or say, hey, this person's looking for numbers. This person's looking for a trade value. This person wants a phone call. This person wants this. They want that. And and it keeps it allows me to help out with the salespeople. It allows and, and she'll actually tag us in messaging. Um, and, and we can jump in in real time and, and try to retrieve that fumble or something that we missed um, when she's staying in communication with them. So it's it's so supremely valuable to to my sales staff and myself that I, we, we would be lost without it sometimes because we do we do handle a lot of uh, a lot of leads and a lot of customers. Fantastic. Steve, Steve, let me ask you a question. Steve, how can they get in touch with you? I know, I know they can you know, use the website. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah, you can. Uh, you know, always talk. You know, through our website to. Uh, what, what, what phone number could they call? Could they call you? Yeah, they could give me a call, shoot me a text, PM me, DM me on. Uh, how, social can, how can they text you? How can they call you? Well, you know me, Jim. I'm a big texter. So three one four eight zero. Slow down. Oh. Three one four. I'm, I'm typing as we speak. 803-4334. Let me see if I've got that correctly. And they better send me a GIF. Okay. <laughs> I'm working on that right now. Let me get that. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. Yeah, anyway, yeah. So they can call you at 314-803-4334. Is that correct? That is correct, sir. Is that what it looks like? That's exactly it. I'm going to leave that up there for a while. You can text or call Steve at that number directly. I mean, I'm, I'm, giving, I'm giving you the main guy. I mean, <laughs> you, you're not going to be talking to one of the laborers here. You're talking, talking to the guy himself. 
<laughs> well, we, we, we do have a great team, you know, as we continue to grow, there's more behind the scenes, but, uh, you know, I know we'll talk probably about our support, but, uh, you know, not only is it just me, but there's plenty of other folks that are on the front end, uh, going out there, helping, you know, create that message, what everybody is really, uh, echoing here on this meeting. Uh, the one thing I do want to point out, Jim, just because we were talking about the artificial intelligence and the genius. I think what a lot of folks are doing and, and what we're able to accomplish within Drive is take away some of that mundane work. I think Denny says it best. I take the line from Denny where, you know, the people feel like they're responding to customers. They're not responding to leads. And if there's technology out there that can help tee it up for your for salespeople to be better responders, now I'm not making those 100 phone calls a day where we know people aren't picking up the phone. We're sending out these email templates that just, let's face it, don't work. What we're focusing on this call is a lot more personalized video. We're talking about texting. We're talking about technology of using the genius. And these are all the things where these stores that you're people we're talking to, they're just being better responders and are personalizing that message to the customer. Well, let me go ahead and uh, check with Dusty a second. Dusty, how, how are your people using this technology? Uh, so, man, there well, are I, so I many. Dusty, I put Brian on the screen. Hang oh. on a second. He's better looking hey, than I, 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 I meant, keep I him meant on there. Brian. I'm sorry. You, <laughs> you guys sort of look alike. Were you separated at birth? I don't know. <laughs> okay, Brian, uh, how, how are you guys using this technology? Well, I mean, we've touched on a lot of it, right? So a, a couple of interesting elements, right? Hearing people talk about video and how important it is and, and how game changing it was for them. Uh, and a lot of the conversation we had was around internet lead, right? And so um, I think about a lot of the stuff from the, the, our customer's perspective. And so, you know, putting the salesperson's, you know, face, having, you know, hearing them speak, having a video on, you know, when a lead's originated, is helpful in the process. Okay, and what about the, um... So the genius and the, the video, what about the video? Did you freeze up on me? I think he froze. Oh my gosh. Hang on one second. I'm gonna put Steve's number up there again. Okay, yeah, I think, well, I think Dust, Dusty had a little problem with the, his technology freezing. All right, let's go back to Ashley for a second. <clears throat> Ashley, are you with us? I am. Hi. Okay. You talked about the rooms. Tell me, did, did, Steve, did Steve send you a copy of the notes? <laughs> no, he did not. But live rooms are great. I mean, they're, they're no, awesome. Dusty, <laughs> I think we all have talked about Dusty. You really hit it. And, and the, the app, when you're one point of contact, you have to be mobile all the time. You're doing multiple things at once. Um, being able to live rooms are kind of like a FaceTime call. And a lot of our customers, we do what we call walls are to use. So we're delivering cards, we're doing test drives to customers and being able to do that live room and FaceTime with the customer uh, before we even get there and, and kind of show them, hey, here's here's a Jeep Renegade we just talked about. I'm excited to show it to you. It's got the black exterior, you know, whatever it is. But being able to send a video and, and talk to them and letting them know the face that they're going to meet because I mean, Tell you're me inviting somebody to your How does the live room look to the consumer? How's it set up? It's set up exactly like a FaceTime call. They get a, a text message or an email with the link to meet me here, and they click on that link, and it's a FaceTime call where they can just Skype, FaceTime, whatever, Zoom. It's it's all just one-to-one -one video. Is it like a room where they're talking to, or Zoom where they're talking to a lot of people at once? No, just just the salesperson or whoever invited them to that room. But it is a FaceTime, and it is built into the system. Yes. That, that's huge. Are your people using that, Jim? We are. It is super handy. It's a, it it complements the uh, videos for sure. So, Steve, what what have we not talked about? Car Carlo, have I left anything out? Um, uh, I would say, uh, other than the touch points from what I see the other guy saying, is the simplicity of the tool. Although I'm the BDC guy, I'm pro salesman because we don't hire salesmen in this store. In this store, you have to be an agent for at least three to six months before you become a salesman. That being said, all of my salesmen love the app and love using the, the, the simplicity of the tool, and that's how I keep them engaged. And that, that is amazing because usually when a new system comes in, 
or when I'm consulting a dealership, any any vendor comes in, any trainer comes in, the first thing we endure is a bunch of what I call the mutineers. The what? The mutineers. <laughs> the mutineers. Okay. They, yeah. They, they they have a meeting in the in the men's room and ladies' room where they meet and they talk about how they're going to get rid of you. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome yeah yeah so 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 you're telling me you got a buy-in where your people are buying into the crm they're not you're not not dealing with a whole bunch of mutineers that wish no by the time by the time we put out a salesman they know um process phones scripts um product and they're our finished product themselves on two legs and then we ship them off to the floor and uh we get maximum usage out there from them which is powerful that is absolutely powerful. Let me see it here a second. Um, you had a comment, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I, I wanted to go back to live rooms really quick. Uh, so yeah, I want to stay a, in live room for a second, please. There's there's a really cool thing called conversational commerce. So conversational commerce is basically making the showroom wherever the customer is, and and when and and uh, Walzer hits on it perfectly. Uh, I actually uh, uh, stole some ideas from them and things that I wanted to do. Um, and and we actually changed our CTAs on our website to ask us anything and go straight to chat because I want them to be able to talk to a live person right then when they're ready. And what Live Rooms allows us to do is to then take that person that's that's in real time on our digital showroom, then engage them like we would on our real showroom, our analog showroom, through live rooms, you can take, uh, you can start out with your with your laptop, uh, having the conversation back and forth to them. You can switch from the laptop to your cell phone, walk out and do a walk around on the car. Then you can actually message inside the system to your uh, used car manager or somebody that's doing an appraisal, have the customer do a walk around on their car then you can go back to the laptop, switch seamlessly, never losing connection to the customer, go right back to the laptop and do a screen share where you can go over all the numbers, all the incentives, the trade value and everything. And the customer just thinks they're going to go. They, the, the first thought the customer is like, oh, I'm going to go onto this website and I'm going to have to put in a lead to get more information. Oh, no, no, no. When you're ready, be ready because it's just like walking into my showroom. And so okay. the, the, the live rooms, uh, you'll hear a lot of people, a lot of people in automotive that will say, you know, they want this end to end, start to finish, cradle to grave solution. And I've heard it a thousand times on Clubhouse and in other, other conversations. When you have, with the right tools, this digital suite inside of Drive Centric that allows you to do an end-to-end -end solution because the end-to-end -end solution is walking around your showroom on two legs. That's your sales staff. So well, you know, that's where that's where I started to swing toward one point of contact. That's right, and because and beautiful. as we drop with the digital retail that we have today, mm -hmm. digital retail is here. You can fight it, but it's here. Well, see, that's the thing is is we call ours our dinner table showroom. So the idea is, is we're working a car deal at the customer's dinner table where they're most comfortable. So wherever they're ready to do a car deal is where we're ready to do a car deal. You deliver a car to their home? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and a lot of times, seriously, this is no kidding. Because of the following that some of my salespeople have due to their branding and some of the entertainment and stuff that they put out there, some customers don't want to. They, they want to come in and, and enjoy the salesperson. And that's legit. And, and, well, and that's I know absolutely Steve, legit. And I'll tell you why. Yeah, they want to enjoy it. They, they want to be because are showing that people are not transacting mm -hmm. totally online. That's right. Stats and we do showing. We, uh, now, I, I have a dentist appointment next week. Mm -hmm. I'm filling out the paperwork online, but I physically think I should go see the dentist. You should probably do that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, and that's what people are doing with their car buy. And by the way, sure. they're not watching. They're not watching the pre-programmed videos online on the websites. Right. I mean, right. they'll right. watch a custom video or one like Carlo that they perceive to be a custom video. 
But as far as the, the, the pre-programmed videos that some of these vendors are putting up, nobody's watching them. St stats are showing it's not working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People still want to buy the car, a large percentage of them. There's a small percentage that will do anything. And see, that's the thing is, is we have decreased the time, I would say probably by more than half, of what, how much time the customer wants to spend in the showroom. And you attribute I mean, that to drive centric. Yes, absolutely. Unequivocally, because I can put the entire deal together. It spits everything out in paperwork, all, all the paper, uh, all the deal jacket stuff, everything that I need is done. So, so once it, it literally, if somebody, from the time somebody jumps on my website, enters into a chat with me, I switch them over to drive centric and go into live rooms, work the car deal. They could be in their car on their way to the dealership and everything's done. All I got to, it, it would, it takes me longer to gas the car and clean up the car than it would be to do the paperwork and the delivery. I just put a comment across the screen. One of our live viewers just in, I've, we're getting, we got a lot of live viewers on the, on the, the mm -hmm. broadcast right now, but this, this viewer says, I hear nothing but great comments about drive centric in the marketplace. I hear that everywhere. And I've got groups online that have thousands of people. I've got thousands of, I've got 150,000 people on, on the social media, their friends and followers. And I, and I was hearing about drive centric long before I met uh, Jimmy Neutron, you know, <laughs> you know, or Steve, excuse me. I call him Steve Flair. <laughs> hey, one of the things I wanted to point out, one of the reasons why you hear a lot of good things is the support. Shout out to my pod five. <laughs> Love you guys. You know, uh, these guys, um, you know, they're attentive. You request a phone call They're in within minutes, you can have the phone call. They, re, um, they actually fix issues, previous companies, what, whatever, you know, submit a ticket. Especially the one that that's it. That's it. That's submit a ticket. I hated month. that. The and then and, every month you can't get them on the phone. Oh, you crashed. Submit a ticket. Yeah. I can't because you crashed. <laughs> we can't so, crash. <laughs> Carla, I'm, I got to jump right on that because that is my absolute unequivocally, and and Steve knows how I feel about it. My absolute, and and it's all the things that I love about Drive Centric. That's my favorite thing. If I need an ad hoc report, if I want to see some data, if I want to make campaigns, and and um, I need help doing it literally they're a text away and I, and I wish you could see i wish i could put it up on screen what it looks like it's a little bubble at the bottom you click the little bubble bada bing somebody jumps up there you say give me a call they give you a call you're talking to a real human being like that and we no downtime no nothing i i've got my i'm not an easy client myself you know i i ask for customized reports i, I Oh, wow. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> so I'm always asking for stuff because there are things I want to measure and make sure I'm not dropping the ball on. And uh, from customized reports to this and that, they always deliver, which is pretty one, cool. one thing that's awesome about them, too, and support is nothing is hidden. If I want to know how they did it so I don't have to ask again, they'll send me a three-page email on what happened so I can do it myself next time. And I love that because I don't like to have to rely on somebody, even though I 100% agree with these guys. I work with so many different vendors, as I'm sure they do. No customer service I've worked with in 20 years of sales has been as good as I have. You're telling me that the support is exceptional. Big time. Yeah. Oh, completely. Big time. And I had to launch the CRM and, and I don't say just I, but we have, we had 24 stores that we were launching all from January of this year through June. And I'm the director here on the store, like leading the charge, right? Like I'm, I'm directing the show. Um, it was wow. from support um, remotely. Um, was helping implement everything. I had some assistance from our training team and our marketing team, but I was on the ground launching each store, each week a different store, and I couldn't have done it without um, Pod Three. I love, well, I love my Pod. Let me ask you a question, Ashley. Is is Walzer top management watching this show? Perhaps. Um, I'm sure they are. A few of them have have the links. So. Okay, if Walzer top management is watching this show. Give the girl a raise for heaven's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I told Steve, I'm like, I, I think we all need a happy hour when I'm done with this because I was in every store, um, even our stores in Kansas I helped launch. I, I luckily have a partner down there that 
is owning digital for us. But uh, yeah, it was a lot working between IT and marketing and training, but I couldn't have done it. Which campus was that? Uh, Kansas, the Wichita Auto Campus. We've got seven luxury stores all on 30 acres. Wow. Yeah. How many stores? So you launched 24, how many stores? So we have, um, let's see, 16 in Minnesota, one in Illinois, seven wow. in Kansas. Wow. <laughs> that speaks to Walter Management is here. So that speaks to the simplicity because, like, you know, you go to a lot of other companies when they launch, they send like teams, you know? You don't need that here because it's uh, it's that simple, you know. You can take someone from any generation. I don't care what where where your you know what I'm saying your your generation is from, but they can sit down within a couple of classes, just plug in and play. Well, I like that's old Joe. Old Joe. Old Joe can't use the CRM. <laughs> old Joe's using it. You'd be surprised. My my technological, you know, um, my my not so technological salespeople are actually the ones sending more videos than anybody you know that I've seen in across our stores. So they're loving it just as much as the new hires are. Now, if, you're an old car, if you're an old car dog, watch it. I'm 74 years old, and I'm teaching the internet to young people. <laughs> on your, on your side. I, I can see something in there for for management side that I don't think we've talked about no. yet, Go and ahead. and that's one thing is getting managers to use <laughs> no. use the CRM the right and and to have I'll good quality one on ones. If you want to talk about good quality one on ones, you open up, you, you just drive, jump into Drive, sit there with the salesperson, open up one of these customer cards, and look. At what you want the customer, what you want the customer to see, what you expect the the, the, the person to say, are they answering the questions? You can watch the videos, you can listen to the calls, you can say, you know, nobody wants to get. Um, I think one thing that, that Steve helped us out with was uh, capitalizing text, right, Steve? Like sending all capital text. And and I had a salesperson that was doing that, and I didn't even think about it. And Steve, you know, he's he's kicking the pants meetings. Where we sit there and go, hey, look what look what you guys are doing. That's silly, and you go, oh my gosh. One thing I do is, and I shoot so many videos. I do videos on Facebook. I do videos to the customers. I do videos with my salespeople. All kinds of stuff. And, I, and I'm a video guy, but I noticed that when I was doing my uh, manager uh, to or introduction to the to the customer, I wasn't smiling on video. I never even noticed it, and I had to have a one on one with. With uh, Steve, Steve went, man, look at this. You're not doing, you know, you're not smiling. That's not you. That You smile. And I said, oh, my God. And so now it's, I make a conscious effort every time to sit there. So the quality of follow-up. Dusty, Dusty, you can't be on a video with me and not smile. I know, right? So <laughs> well, the quality of follow-up has just shot to the moon. So how much better the follow-up is because our one-on-ones are better because I can actually look at our communication and look at our communication not only in real time, but but then after the fact, and we can fix these mistakes, or pick up the uh, uh, the verbiage or how we say something like, "Hey, man, don't you know you don't really want to say that? You know that's going to turn the customer off. Let's let's change it to this. You know this statement. Say this in the video instead of that. And uh, man, it's it's really, I mean, unequivocally between you know right behind support is is management use like how you really should use the crm a real crm how you should use it and so, and is, is let me, is ask, let me ask the entire panel a question can i chime in real quick before you do that now yeah do it do it so uh, the one, one thing i wanted to make people aware of to make perfect there's two things about drive that are amazing for the split one we were really nervous we didn't even know who drive worked with. They invited us out to St. Louis. That's how transparent they are. They let us come there. How many vendors have you ever had say you can come to our building and look at our entire process? We've never had that happen. This is the only one. And they are centrally located. Yeah. Yeah. And then on top of that, they made the transition easier to switch CRMs than anything I've ever done, like phone companies, CRMs, CDKs, DMSs, whatever it is you use. The transition was so quick, so easy, and being able to see them, meet them, know their real people, they were just beyond, beyond amazing and made us very comfortable. Okay. You know? The question I want awesome. to ask everybody, I'm seeing a lot of people that are enthusiastic about the CRM. 
how many dealers on this broadcast consider yourself to be a smaller market dealer, um, urban, uh, rural, small market? Got one. Got, got, oh, so we got two, two small market, two small market dealers, three, and then we got three juggernauts here, and I don't know. Let's see. No, we're not really sure exactly what brand it is. Brand you a small market dealer? Uh, yeah, small market. So I'm trying to tell what I'm trying to establish right now is whether you're a major metro market, whether you're a mega dealer with 26 dealerships, or, or you're a small one location rural small small market dealer, this system works good for you. Yeah, somebody, I think that's Carlos. Uh, noisy background oh is that me again sorry guys yeah, I I mean, think it is, you know, but I, I'm, I'm, what i'm loving about carl i let his noise stay in because he he's a working manager man this guy hasn't stopped for a second he, he he's he's doing deals he's doing crap he's 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 assigning things he he's in drive centric right now aren't you you know it He's in drive for sure right now. So <laughs> that's why I've let all his background noise we put up with it because he this a working man. Just let me know. Just let me know now. <laughs> Steve, we're coming down to the last three minutes. What you got to say? You know, I think uh I mean everybody said some great stuff. And I mean, this was really the opportunity for everybody to kind of just hear a little bit about how they're using drive centric and what the power is. I think the one thing that uh, if there's something that uh, I would like everybody to maybe talk about, and, you know, like I think Dusty you brought it up as far as managing, you know, looking at the conversation screen and and using it in the mentioning tool. I think the one thing, Jim, that you know we wanted to make sure that everybody had was a tool that makes it very sticky that everybody wants to use. And I, we didn't really talk about the mentioning, but you know, if we're going to turn it over to everybody and just talk about more of the coaching capabilities and how they use mentioning, that'd be very valuable for everybody. There's different well, I'll tell you how we do the coaching. You know, we go by columns. So like based on last engaged, when was the last attempt that you tried? So if you engaged the customer four days ago, did you try within the last three days? So we want to see that green column of last attempt within green, which means 24 hours. If we don't see that, then that means we haven't done our part. Because it's one thing to say, I haven't sold a car today. And it's another thing, I haven't sold a car, but I haven't done shit about it. <laughs> so uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, we make sure that we hold that, that one column accountable. You know? And that's, uh, that's a powerful thing that we do on a daily across the entire dealership. Fantastic. And we use mentions all the time with, uh, I'll go through there, and I'm kind of the same thing Carlo is. Uh, but most of the time for us, it's, it's unresponded message, those fumbles they were talking about. Because I found that fumbles cost me more money than my fumbles do in football when I'm betting on it. So uh, when I see fumbles, I get in there and make sure people are, are doing it. And our sales managers are really good about also tagging people in deals like, why haven't you answered this? And another great part about that is, is using impressions. So sometimes I don't even wait on people. I'll just impersonate them and finish everything myself. And it's, it's amazing to have that capability. Yeah, that's an awesome capability. Okay, guys, um, as we as we wind down the show, I think this has been tremendous. Now, the, the thing you have to do is to get off your complacency. Now, I'm talking to general managers and dealer principals that are watching this broadcast. You've heard some of the biggest, most successful dealers in the country. You've heard rural and urban dealers, small market dealers, big market dealers. I mean, we got one, one dealer selling 1,100 units a month and relying on this system. We've got, I don't know, walls are, they don't disclose their, their, their numbers, but they sell, let's just say, a whole shitload of cars. You know, <laughs> you, you know I mean, people are relying on this program. Now, if, you, if you're a dealer principal or general manager, go out on your showroom right now and look at how your people are using your CRM. And you're saying, well, Mr. Ziegler, we can't even get inventory. We're making spectacular grosses. We're setting records. Well, suck it up, Bucky, because all that's going to end. And, and when it does, are you in for a hard crash or a soft landing? 
If you've got managers using three or four screens, they haven't got video capability. They don't have live rooms. I mean, all the things we've talked about, then you need to make the call. Now, you can either go to drivecentric.com or you can call Steve Ressler. Um, that's him there, the Jimmy Neutron haircut. You know, there he is. You know, you can call Steve Ressler for a demo. His number's on the screen. We've had a lot of humor. We've had a lot of fun today. Um, I love the people on this broadcast. But notice, everybody on this broadcast is a raving fan of Drive Centric. Is that true, guys? Absolutely. Totally. I mean, and these, these are working managers. I mean, Carlo didn't even stop working for the broadcast. Come on. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this is Jim Ziegler, the Drive Centric uh, Advocates. We're signing off. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye. Goodbye. Care, everybody. Thanks again, Jim. Take care. Thanks, Jim.